Nearly a year after suffering a debilitating stroke, Illinois Senator Mark Kirk returned to the Capitol to reclaim his Senate seat. Flanked by Vice President Joe Biden and his closest friend in the Senate, Democratic Senator Joe Manchin, Kirk climbed the 45 steps to the Senate door. Colleagues from both parties lined the Senate steps and cheered Kirk as he made his way to the top. Inside the Capitol, the focus was on whether Speaker John Boehner, who's had a rough couple of weeks, would win re-election. Unhappiness with his leadership was apparent as a handful of Republicans voted for someone else. Yoho. Cantor. But in the end, the embattled speaker won a second term. The Honorable John A. Boehner of the state of Ohio has received 220. The Honorable Nancy Pelosi of the state of California has received 192. House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi presented Boehner with the speaker's gavel. Fresh from the fiscal cliff fight, Boehner stressed the nation's debt problems have to be dealt with. Break its hold, we begin to set our economy free. Jobs will come home and confidence will come back. Some Democrats took to the House floor hoping that a page has been turned. I am hopeful that the 113th Congress will be more productive, collaborative and civil than the 112th. I'm not particularly optimistic, but I'm always hopeful. The new House will have 79 women, three quarters are Democrats, posing here on the House steps. The Senate will have 20 women, the most ever. They include Tammy Baldwin, the first openly gay senator, and Tim Scott of South Carolina was sworn in as the first black in the Senate in two years. Despite all the new faces, this Congress will have to grapple with some of the same ideological disputes that made this past Congress one of the least productive in history, including how to handle the debt ceiling and budget priorities. Jerry Bodlander, Associated Press, Capitol Hill.